and welcome to my 2021 holiday gift guide. This is going to be a fun video, <laughs> but a long one. So I suggest if you're trying to put together your Christmas list for your loved ones, you grab a piece of paper so you could take notes, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee, a snack, some tea, or whatever you need so you could sit back and watch and make your Christmas list. The first part of this video is going to be all supplies that I would recommend and the ones that I love. I'm going to show a little bit of something for everyone. I know that I have a lot of new subscribers and a lot of you are beginners and you're just discovering this wonderful hobby of adult coloring and you want to put together your Christmas list for your loved ones and you're probably really not sure exactly what to start with. So I'm going to have a portion of this video where I'm showing you exactly the things that you need just to get started. And I'm also gonna share with you some of my favorite things. I created a post in my Facebook group and I asked all of you to give me your suggestions for the things that you think others should put on their Christmas list or sort of like your favorite things. And I'm going to include those in this video as well, probably towards the end of this video. And then if I get more of your suggestions coming in as I'm filming and I go back to check the Facebook group, I may have some of those also in the end of the part two video, which will feature all coloring books. So let's go ahead and and get into this video because it is going to be a long one. As always, I will have everything that you see in this video linked in the description box below, as well as links to my email list, my Etsy store, my Facebook group, please do join us if you're not already a member, as well as my Patreon if you would like to support me there. So right now in my Etsy store, I am running a Black Friday sale. And so there is 30% off of everything. My color combinations and blending workbook, I have never actually showed what it looks like on the inside. And a lot of you have asked, this is a full tutorial workbook. It is 29 pages. You can purchase this just with the color combination and blending workbook by itself. And you can also purchase it with all of my color combination charts so that you can continue to practice after going through the tutorial part of the workbook. Now this workbook is 29 pages and so it is a full and complete tutorial. It includes lots of instruction, numerous instruction pages. And so the instruction pages look like this. And of course, you're gonna get a step-by-step -step instructional tutorial, and it is going to actually be in steps. And it's going to explain to you how to put your colors together. It will tell you exactly how to choose your colors when you're putting together your color combinations. And it will also show you exactly how to lay those colors down when you're putting your colors together, how to create smooth transitions, so of course we've skipped quite a few pages because now we're on step four, but it is going to be very, very detailed and explained to you step by step. I've got lots of little hints and tips and tricks thrown in on the different pages. And of course this will come in color. I just didn't have any color ink in my printer at the moment. So I printed it in black and white but it's going to have lots of little hints just like this one all throughout the 29 pages of the workbook. It is going to have examples showing exactly what I talk about for each step. And then you're going to get worksheets that look like this one showing you exactly how to put together your color combinations. Now it does start with three blend color combinations. And so of course this one is the worksheet for the four color combinations. So I'm already coming back and showing you how to insert your transition color. When you decide you want to add another color and it will show you from three color blends to five color blends. And so it'll allow you to use the same exact techniques and instruction to create much bigger color combinations all the way up to 10 color combinations. And if you order it in the bundle, you're gonna get my color combination charts this one is for three color blends and it goes all the way up to 10. So I've got the three color blends here and then I've got the four color blends. So they all look the same and you could purchase that as a bundle all together in my Etsy store. So you would get the full 29 page uh, workbook 
complete with all of the diagrams. And it's going to have lots of diagrams in here on the worksheets. So it is going to have one worksheet where it has my examples and exactly how to do it. And then it's gonna have these worksheets here where you could copy exactly what I did and practice on your own. And then you would be able to practice on your own even more if you were to purchase the bundle because you were gonna get all of your own color combination uh, charts and it is gonna go all the way up to 10 color blends. And then I also have these color charts or color swatch charts available. Now, a lot of you that are beginners had said to me that you were unsure how to do gradients. And so I have for my 72 swatch chart, I have one here that does not have the division lines. So if you already are familiar with making the gradients to show the different values in each color, you can use this one. And if you struggle to do that and you just want to do dark, medium, and light, you can pick up this one that has the division lines on it, making it much easier. And then I also have that available here in 120 chart. I'm going to be coming out with a 48 swatch chart as well. I'm in the middle of creating that now, and that will be up in my store very, very soon. For those of you that are grabbing these new sets that are available, we have a new um, the pastel tint castle art set that is available. I'll be showing you that in this video because I am in love with those pencils <laughs> and they would make a great Christmas gift as long as they don't sell out again. So make sure that you do check out my Black Friday sale because that Black Friday sale is only going to go until after Black Friday. I think, I'm, I think it is extended until Saturday. So if you're watching this video today, this video should be up on Friday. Friday. I'm trying to put this video up on Black Friday. So if you're watching this video today, you will be able to go to my Etsy store and grab anything you would like out of there for 30% off. Okay, so we're going to start this video out with the more expensive pencils that I absolutely love because it's Christmas time, y'all. <laughs> And we have to ask for the most expensive things, right? <laughs> so the first thing I have here are the Prismacolor Premier. We all know or have seen, I'm sure we've all seen the Prismacolors. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it comes with, I believe, four trays, six trays. So this is what the colors look like. And this is my replacement set, and I always try to purchase them when the price goes down. We've had quite a lot of that on Amazon as of late. So I've purchased actually quite a few sets because <laughs> I use these all the time. So I think I have like three replacement sets now. So this is what they look like when they first come to you. And they are very nicely packaged. And if you don't already have Prismacolors, you need to ask for some for Christmas. Let me show you what the other side looks like really quickly, but I have a lot to share with you in this video so you can start making your Christmas lists. The next thing I have are my Caran d'Ache Luminance Pencils. I absolutely love these pencils. If you don't already have a set of these, <laughs> add them to your Christmas list. Please add them to your Christmas list. I'm sure somebody that loves you so, so much and cares about you and wants you to be happy with your coloring supplies and your hobby will pick these up for you. <laughs> so this is what they look like. Look at this packaging, y'all. Like, it is just amazing. The packaging is just beautiful. And mine are a little bit, well, not a little bit, a lot out of order because I've been using these and I've been working on different things so they are not in order at all but look how beautiful these are like the packaging in these i don't even want to put them in a case because i just love the packaging so much i may need to put them in a case because they really need to be put in order i've got them just scattered all over the place so this here oh and then it does come with the two um blending pencils here this set here is 76 colors and then you get the two full blenders. And then you can also add on this portrait assortment, which I absolutely love. So there is a portrait assortment that I picked up not too long ago. And these that are laying in here are the open stock ones. I hope I'm not missing one. It probably, 
I don't know. I hope I'm not missing one, but there's four open stock that you could purchase as well. And I think that somebody said that they come in a set of 100 now. I thought that I saw somebody said that, say that. I'll have to check on that because I'm not sure. So if you're into coloring portraits or even not into coloring portraits, this is a great set to pick up. So since they've added this set, you get a lot more colors. And so it sort of expands you know exactly what you're getting. You can see that you get like this teal color in here too, which is absolutely beautiful. So it comes with a few more of the brighter colors. I know a lot of times when people are talking about the Caran d'Ache luminance, they usually talk about if you want the more, you know, colors that are more for like landscape and things like that, rather than the fun colors to pick up this set. And if you're looking for something that is more fun and has bright and vibrant colors, then usually I would suggest the Pablos because they've got more bright, fun types of colors in that set. Okay, and then I have my Caran d'Ache Pablos. I love these, absolutely love these, especially for the colors. The colors that you get in here are beautiful. You can see that I've actually been using these quite a bit more than the luminance by looking at them. <laughs> But I really do love these. And look at some of these colors that are in here. They're just gorgeous. I'll let you go ahead and take a closer look at these pencils because they're just beautiful. Look at that gold ring that they have on there and the gold writing. They're just really gorgeous pencils. Okay, and then, of course, because it's Caran d'Ache, they come very beautifully packaged too. So this black part here is actually sitting in an actual really good quality tin and so you can just lift each section out and then they give you these little thingies here these little plastic pieces that you can pull the next tray out and then this is the last tray but look at these colors y'all I am just obsessed with the colors in this set. Now these do have a little bit of a learning curve so I know there is a lot of you know, back and forth in the coloring community as to whether or not these are wax or oil. They lay down very much like an oil pencil, like a polychromos, where you have to lay them down in very light layers. And they are a harder pencil. Once you do lay that pigment down and you get those layers, they are very nice to work with. But those are the Caran d'Ache Pablos, and they are an absolute beautiful set. I love, love, love these. I like these better than my Polychromos. And probably because of the colors, and of course because they are all light fast. But when you purchase anything from Caran d'Ache, you can be assured that they are going to be the highest quality um, as far as the light fastness goes. And so if you are coloring a page, it will last for years and years to come, and it will definitely not fade from light over time. Here are my next set of pencils that are more expensive that I absolutely love. These are the Derwent Lightfast. These also come in a set of 100. If you are interested in having all 100 colors, then you do need to purchase the one that comes in the wooden case as well. It's a beautiful case, but they are going to get pricey at that point. So. I have the 72 set and Derwent was nice enough to send these to me so that I could review them. So I do have a review on my channel of these. They're beautiful pencils. My set actually had a duplicate of one pencil, so it is missing one pencil, but I plan on purchasing the other colors open stock. And so that's really not a problem for me. Look at the colors in here. They've got some gorgeous colors. Of course, they've got their light blue color. You guys know that I always love sets that have a very pale, pale blue. And look at this pale, pale green color. They're just beautiful. These are beautiful pencils. They go down on the paper so beautifully. And they go down very much like the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. I'm sure, I've not tested it yet, but I'm sure that the two sets, the Luminance and these, would work beautifully together. And they are both completely light fast. So you can color your pages and they will last for years to come. We're going to go ahead and move on now to the more budget friendly sets that are amazing. The ones that I love, I'm only going to share with you the ones that I love. I am not going to be sharing anything with you that I would not recommend. So this set 
is one of my top favorites. This is the 120 set of Brood Fooner colored pencils. This is actually a duplicate set. I have all of my colors sorted in, in color family order in a case. And so I just wanted to be able to show you how they come. But this is the tin that they come in. So it's just plain black. It comes with that this uh, wrapper that you just saw that goes around the top. So when they come to you, they're gonna be wrapped like this and then you just take this off and you've got your black tin. But they come with a swatch chart. And if y'all are new here and you wanna pick these pencils up, my goodness y'all, these were $19 last week. Like that is an absolute steal. I posted it in my Facebook group because I couldn't even believe that they had dropped so low. They had a 40% off coupon on them, but I already have two extra sets, so I don't need any more. <laughs> If you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I put these in color family order and I made that available in a video. I'll try to link that in the upper right hand corner, but I put them all in color family order so that you don't have to, so you could just follow along with the video. And if you need a swatch chart, I also have a free swatch chart in my Facebook group. You can also go to my Etsy store and purchase one for super, super cheap right now with my Black Friday sale. But this is what they look like. There are some very unique colors in this set that you're not gonna find in another set. And there is the second tray. And I love how for such a budget set, they give you these little um, pieces here to be able to pull your trays out. That makes it so much more convenient. And then this is the last tray, but you get 120 pencils and all of these have the Chinese name written on them. So let me just hold one a little closer so you could see them, but you get the Chinese name on there and then you get the number. And these were all tr translated by a member of my Facebook group from Chinese to English. And I have that available in the file section in my group. Yi Jing Yang was the one who translated all of the names for us. So thank you to her. And so she helped me when I was putting them all in color family order, and I was able to add the actual color names as well into that video that I did. So I was really excited about that. That was so sweet of her to do that. The next budget-friendly set that I would recommend are these Caller 240 set of colored pencils. Just look at the artwork on here, y'all. And they come packaged so nicely. I did do a review on these, and I'll try to link it in the upper right-hand corner so you can can see that you can see that it comes with a swatch chart I started swatching them out on here and then I decided I wasn't gonna do that because I wanted to make my own I mean I don't know I may still go back and do it but you could see some of the beautiful colors in here so far but look at these <laughs> there are so many colors in here like I opened this up and saw all these beautiful bright vibrant colors and I was just like blown away they are there are just such beautiful colors in here. So that is the first tray and you get these little notches here so that you could pull each tray up. There's the second tray. There's a lot of pencils in here y'all so I'll show you each one of the trays really quickly. And this one does come with metallics as well. You've got the metallics kind of thrown in. There's quite a few right here and they're thrown in in each tray. Like there's another metallic right here, the green metallic pencil. And here's another one, there's a blue metallic pencil. And so they're just thrown in with color family. And I mean, these are organized pretty nicely. I don't think that I would ever go back and sit and put these in color family order like I have with so many other sets because <laughs> that would just be too much work for me. It takes me long enough, like hours and hours, to put one of the 120 sets together in color family order. And so I don't think that I'll be doing that <laughs> with these, but it looks like there's one missing. I probably have it laying around somewhere on my desk, but those are all the trays and you get lots of metallics in this set. I'm not sure exactly how many, but you could see that you have your gold here too, and then you have your silver down here. But there are just lots of beautiful colors in this set, and I bought it because there were 240, and I got a really good deal on these, and they hadn't gone down that low. I think I paid like $35 or $37 or something like that. And then after they became so popular, after I did my review, I don't know if the company caught on because that video was really, really popular. And I know a lot of you ran out and bought these pencils 
right away, and I guess they noticed that they became very, very popular. And so the price went back up to like $55, and they left it that way for quite a long time. And just recently, it went back down again. But even if you pay $55 for all these pencils, this is a lot of pencils, and that is still a really good deal. These lay down very nicely. They blend very well. If you would like to see my review, you can go back and watch that, but they're wonderful pencils. I really do like these. And they work beautifully in the Amazon printed coloring books. I actually did a video where I colored in an Amazon printed coloring book to show you all how beautifully they lay down in that book, but they really, really do. And the next budget set that I have to share with you are the 120 set of Mark Arts. I do not have the smaller set. They come in a 72 set and they come in a 120 set and there is a 48 set as well. And I believe for each set, you just get extra colors. The colors don't change, you just get extra colors. So this is the biggest set and I purchased this right when it became available and I have them in a case and they are actually all sorted in color family order. <laughs> I've been working on this for quite a long time and I just finished it up yesterday. So this video is coming where I put all of these in color family order and I will have swatch charts available in my Etsy store specific for this set and it will have all the names and everything already written in on my swatch chart because, let me show you these here. So if you look at the actual pencils, you'll notice that they only have a number on them. And that part was a little aggravating to me because <laughs> they actually do have names. And these pencils are wonderful. The way they go down on paper, they are just beautiful. They're so soft and creamy and they blend so beautifully together. I also have a review on my channel on these. But if you look at the inside of the tin here, you can see that they do all have color names. So on the swatch chart that I'm making available in my Etsy store, I will make one available that is blank and also one after I have swatched out all of the colors. I will take a picture of it and I'll put it in my Etsy store so that those of you that are not really into swatching but you want to have all your colors laid out and you have this set, you'll be able to pick that up as well. But I really highly recommend these pencils and they would definitely be one to add to your Christmas list because they are wonderful. And y'all know I could not leave out my Black Widows. <laughs> y'all know we have the Dragon set coming out and I have not received mine yet. I'm not supposed to get it till December 3rd. As soon as I get those, I will make sure that I do a really, really thorough review on my channel as soon as I receive those. But I hope, I'm hoping that my date gets moved up sooner. But these are my absolute favorite right up under my Prisma colors. And if you've been watching my, my channel for quite some time, you know that I have lots of tutorials on my channel where I show you how to color many different things, a lot of flowers with these pencils. I actually just did one very recently that was very, very popular. I used these and I will link that in the upper right hand corner so you could check out that video, but I was in love with the way my flower turned out. And these are wonderful pencils. And as soon as I get the dragon set, I will be adding those to my original color order. I actually have a video where I put all of these in color order. These come in several different sets. They equal out to 144 pencils at this point very soon, or actually already we have 180 pencils. I know a lot of you have already received your dragon set, so you may now have 180 pencils. I don't have those yet. As soon as I receive those, I will be updating my color family order video that I did a little over a year ago when the Monarch set came out. I will be adding the dragon set to it. And so look out for that because that will go up after I do my review of the dragon set. But these are my favorites. I love them. And this next set, <laughs> I just did a review of these and I am loving these pencils. And these would be wonderful to add to your Christmas list if you want a gorgeous pastel set. The tin, first of all, is so nice the way it opens up and it is attached here at the end. 
And so I'm probably just going to leave mine in the tin. The artwork is absolutely beautiful and it comes with a swatch chart. All of the names and numbers are here on the front of the tin. You actually get a swatch chart. I've already swatched them all out. I did that in my review video, but look at these colors. They're so beautiful. They give you these little uh, handles here to pull your trays out, but look how gorgeous these colors are. If you are interested in finding more out about these pencils, I did a very thorough review and I'll make sure that that is linked, but this is the second tray and there's only 48 pencils, but it is a really good selection of colors and you could actually put together some color combinations with this set and still be able to create some depth and dimension on your coloring pages because if you look at this, we do have some colors that are darker like here and here, and then we've got a very um, a much darker like purpley blue color here. And you can put these colors together and actually make a page that is very rainbow looking and beautiful because these colors blend together so beautifully. So I took the periwinkle and I think that I blended it together with this hydrangea color. And these two colors blended together so beautifully like you could not even see the um, transition where the two colors came together. And so any of these colors you can take and combine them with another color that is out of its color family and they just blend together so beautifully. They are totally worth the price. I absolutely love these. But those are my Castle Art uh, pastel tint colored pencils and they are beautiful. This next set I want to share with you, I did do a review on these and I don't have enough space to be linking all of the reviews that I've done to be able to share all of those. So if you just go to my channel and go to the little um, search bar, you can search for these and find reviews for any colored pencils that you may be looking for. Of course, if I've reviewed them, <laughs> but I did put all of my colored pencil reviews in a playlist the other day so that if you're looking for colored pencils and you're shopping around or you want to add to your Christmas list, you can check my channel and there is a playlist for all of my colored pencil reviews. Maybe I'll try to link that in the upper right hand corner. But these are super, super cool pencils. These are the Koi Ainor Magic Pencils and a subscriber was so sweet to send these to me. And... They are just so cool. These are very, very wide and they're triangular. And you know what I discovered? Because somebody in my Facebook group mentioned they fit in the doll 133. I did not even think that they would just because they're so wide. Well, I tested it out and they went right in with ease, no problem, and it sharpened them. And I was amazed. I was absolutely amazed. This is what they look like up close. And they are so super cool because if you look at the tip, well, that one you really can't see. Let me grab another one that you could really tell, this one here. But they're called Tritone because they have three different colors in them. And so this would be such a fun Christmas gift. I've been wanting to use these to make a background tutorial video. I've just not done it yet. I have like a huge long list of videos to come but look at the tip and how it has like three different colors in there. Is that so cool? And so depending upon how you lay it down, it will come, a different color will come out and then all the colors kind of blend together and you could get several different color combinations out of each one of these pencils. So this does come in different sets and I can't remember exactly now. I think the other set is like a 12 set and then I think it comes in like a five set, but this plus one over here, that's because you get the blender pencil and this is the blender pencil here down on the end. But these would be such a cool thing to ask for for Christmas because they are just so fun. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is some ideas for backgrounds or things that you can use that I recommend that are wonderful to be able to create backgrounds on your coloring pages. So these are my Caran d'Ache Neo Colors and I love these. Now these are not only good for backgrounds, you can also color with these and you can activate them with water. They are absolutely wonderful and I actually have a tutorial or actually a whole color along that I did where I showed you how to use these for a background to create clouds. 
and I love the way that the background turned out. So you can use these to create backgrounds. You can use these to just straight color with. You can use them as a crayon. You can add water to them. You can take a brush and you can just uh, wet your brush and go here at the tip and then apply to your coloring pages if you're working in something like one of the Amazon books that has the thinner paper. But there are so many things that you could do with these. They blend together beautifully and they are just wonderful. I waited so long to get this set. This is the biggest set that you can get. There are 84 colors in this one, but don't let that stop you there because you can create so many more colors out of those 84 colors. So even if you just can only afford a very small set because these are pricey, if you can only afford a very small set, I have a set of 10 and that's where I started, but I was able to create other colors out of just those 10 colors. So if that's you and you can't really afford them or you don't want to ask somebody for something that is that expensive on your Christmas list, then just start with a smaller set. And even the 10 set is sufficient just to try them out and see if you like them and start to practice with them. But these are wonderful. And then y'all know how much I love these Mungio pastels. There are 64 colors in here. And this is what they look like but you get a huge selection of colors in here. You really don't need more than this. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest, um, the biggest set that you can get in these, but they are absolutely wonderful, and I have used them for backgrounds. I've got tutorials on my channel if you're looking for tutorials on how to use these, but these are so super cheap, like super, super cheap, like maybe around $10.00. And I think they've even gone lower at times. I think there was one time they went all the way down to $8. $8. So these are a great tool to have if you are on a budget and you want to grab something for yourself. Add them to your Christmas list as well with other things. And then you won't feel bad <laughs> that you're asking for things that are too expensive. <laughs> and then these are my Jane Davenport, Davenport palette pastels and they are wonderful. I've used these in a few videos to do tutorials and they go down on paper beautifully. She also sells these little baton type things that you can purchase with these. They are very nice to have, but of course you don't need them. You can get just a regular eyeshadow applicator and to lay these down very nicely. They come with some gorgeous colors. This one is called Chilled, and you could see all the pretty colors in there. Let me see if I could open this up. I just don't want to get uh, chalk all over my desk right now because <laughs> I want to be able to lay other things down without having to clean it, but those are the colors that come in that one. And then this one is called Birthday Suit, and that's because this one is really for uh, portrait work and that's why Jane Davenport created these so you get some colors up here that you could use like for blushes and eyeshadows and then you get what would be some skin colors in this set but I use this for other things and there's some pretty colors in here I've used for backgrounds I'm pretty sure I've used that for backgrounds and this one and this one and then this one here, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Jane Davenport. But she basically teaches you how to draw portraits. And I've actually followed quite a bit of her um, tutorials. And I'm in her Facebook group. She also has a Facebook group. But she does wonderful work. She's got some books out that I use that I have followed so that I could draw portraits. But when you're drawing these portraits... She shows how you could use these as like makeup. So this one is for eyes. It's called Mineral Eyes. And then it's got like really metallic, like glittery uh, pastels in here. And they're just beautiful. But I'm not going to open this one because this one does flake very, very easily. But these are all wonderful. And I will make sure that these are linked down in the description box below because you can pick these up on Amazon. Okay, so for those of you that are looking for an alcohol marker set, these are wonderful. I don't even think they're all in here. I've got, oh, I have them right here. <laughs> but I've been working with them, so I have quite a few just laying off to the side because I was working on a coloring page. But 
those are the only ones that are out of there. Aside from that, these are the complete set. And I actually have a video where I put all of these, or swatched them all out, and then I rearranged them in here. So I had like my yellows, my greens, my blues, you know, some reds and some pinks and grays. And I just wanted them to look a little bit more uniform in the case and have some rhyme or reason because when they come to you, they are not in any kind of order at all. But these are absolutely wonderful. Let me go ahead and open one up and I'll show them to you. But that is the brush that you get with these. And then on the other side, it comes with a broad tip. But these are just wonderful. I love working with these. I really, really do. And if all of, if any of you do have alcohol markers, you know to lay them on their side. So I like to leave them in this case. And then I just tip them over to the side when I'm not using them. But this one is really cool because... So I had these laying over on my desk. But it comes with these swatch charts. And like I said, I did swatch all of these out on or in my video when I did the review on these but these are really convenient because you get these here and then you could just stick them here in the front part of your bag and these are really portable and the bag is super super nice these would make a fantastic Christmas gift for someone that you know that is a colorist or an artist or if you want to pick these up for yourself and put them on your Christmas list. I love these and I love the case that it comes in. It is so super nice and really great quality, but they are totally worth the money if you want a big, huge set of budget markers. And then these are the skin tone set and here's the colors in there. These, I believe these are the 24 set and oh, who had sent me all of these? I'm very thankful for that. But they sent me that big, huge set of markers, and I was just, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but they sent them to me for review, and I was totally excited about that. And then they sent me this at a later date, so I didn't get to review these, but I've showed them in quite a few videos. And if you want the full set, a full and complete set of all their brush markers, you would have to get the 36 set of the skin tones, as well as the set that I just showed you. And you would end up having a couple duplicates, I believe, but that would give you all of the colors. And then they all do, I didn't mention this, but they all do come with this uh, little plastic sheet here. And that's just to put behind your coloring pages so that they do not bleed through because we all know that alcohol markers do bleed through. Okay, so the next thing I wanna share with you are gel pens. We all love to have gel pens in our collection. <laughs> we all know this is a collector's hobby and a coloring hobby and all of the things, right? <laughs> so these are my favorite gel pens. And those of you that have been watching my, my videos for quite some time, you know that these are my favorite gel pens. I rave about these all the time because most of them have the one millimeter tip and that is what I really love about them. They blend beautifully. I've done quite a few videos where I show you how to do gel pen blending, and these are wonderful, and they are as good as the day that I purchased them, and I've had these for like three years now, and I do actually have two sets of these because I love them so much, and I ordered two sets at the same time. I don't even remember why, but this is the glitter set, and I guess I thought that I would need two sets. <laughs> But I guess when I ordered them, I didn't realize that they also come with refills. So they do come with a set of refills. My refills are sitting in my closet. And it's been three years. And I use these quite a bit because I do like to color with gel pens as well. And I just love the way that they lay down on paper. Like when you're using a smoother paper and they blend together, it is just the most soothing thing in the world. I'm sure some of you can totally relate to what I'm saying. <laughs> but those are my color it gel pens and I love them. And I believe each one of these has 48 in them and they come with really nice cases. You could tell the difference between the regular set that has metallics and neons and other things in it. And then this is the metallic set and you could tell the difference because you could see all the shiny, pretty, sparkly sparkles on there. <laughs> You all know how much I love glitter. I'm literally obsessed with glitter, so I love this case. It is beautiful. Okay, so this next part of the video is going to be specific for those of you that may have just found this hobby 
and you want to find some things to add to your Christmas list that are going to be necessities. And so I've got quite a few things, and if you have these things, and some coloring books, and some colored pencils, you are going to be all set. But these are just some additional things that I find that every colorist really needs. Let's go ahead and start with paper. So there are a lot of Etsy stores and we all want to support the artists that bring us beautiful artwork. I know that I love to go to Etsy stores and just browse around and buy PDFs. So you're going to need paper. You're also going to need a really good paper for colored pencils that is going to uh, be really beneficial when you are printing out swatch charts, whether you get, get them from my Etsy store or you purchase them from somewhere else, you are going to want to make sure you swatch out all of your colored pencil sets. And the paper that I use is this Spring Hill paper. This paper is 80 pounds. You can see that mine is uh, probably over halfway done, but I have a lot of extra of this because this paper recently, well, a couple months ago, dropped down to only $6.26. I don't know if it is still the same price, but the 80 pound paper, or the 80 pound version of this, it comes in 80 pound and 67 pounds. And if you want something with a little bit more tooth and a little bit heavier, I would go with the 80 pound. And if you want paper that is a little bit less heavy, then I would go with the 67 pound paper. So this is the paper that I highly recommend to everyone. It's wonderful. Next thing that I always recommend is to have one of these mono erasers. This eraser is wonderful and it really is helpful, especially if you're a beginner. And even if you're not a beginner, I go out of the lines all of the time and I need this. And not only is this good for if you go out of the lines, you can also use this to erase a little bit of the pigment up off the paper and make like little dots or like do something really cool in the background. But you can use this for so many different things, not just erasing, but it is really great to get in those little small, small spaces on your coloring pages to be able to erase. And it does a really good job of pulling the pigment up. And then you can get the refills as well. This is what the refills look like. But I have quite a few refills because I use this all of the time when I'm coloring. The next thing that I always recommend is the Doll 133 pencil sharpener. This pencil sharpener is amazing. And I've got, I'm not going to show you how to sharpen in this video because this video has gone on quite long already and I still have to film part two. But it is a crank handle on the back. You would just pull it out like this. You slide your pencil in and then you turn the lever here on the back. And it is a wonderful sharpener and it's very easy to empty it holds the shavings here and then it is very easy to just pull this out and empty it and clear it out it's very easy to clean I actually have a video on my channel where I show you how to clean it how to use it and all of that so I'm not going to really show you any more about it in this video but this pencil sharpener saved my Prisma colors when I was having all kinds of breakage issues. It's absolutely wonderful and I will never ever ever be without it. <laughs> but this one has lasted me for a very long time already. Okay so if you need to erase bigger areas this is the eraser that I use and I believe that it's it's off of here because I've been using this for quite a long time but I believe that it says Fractis on there and I'll make sure it's linked in the description box below so you can find the right one but this is only like a dollar something or a couple dollars it's super super cheap and I have found that it lifts most of the pigment off of my coloring pages if I make a mistake or something. I've even used this one to go back and lift all of the pigment and go back over and color something and you could not even tell that I went and recolored it and that it had been colored originally a completely different color and I believe that I used red and totally erased red and then went over it with blue and we all know that red is a very hard color to pull up so this eraser is amazing and then brushes we all need a brush because when we're using our prisma colors or any of our other colored pencils we want to be able to brush off the little pieces or the dust that comes out of our pencils so that we don't end up with um, color you know if that dust should get stuck in the page especially if we're using paper like the Spring Hill paper that has a lot more tooth or a coloring book with um, 
you know, with coloring pages or paper that has a bit more tooth, we want to make sure we just take that dust off and get it off our page before it stains the uh, page in any way. So I picked this up in a, I can't even remember the name. I always forget the name of this store, but I did a shop with me and I brought you all along with me. It was a video and I picked this up for like a dollar. You could get them at the Dollar Tree or anywhere. I just really love this one because bling bling. <laughs> Another pencil sharpener that I am really loving lately is this Jarlink pencil sharpener. I did a review on this, and I would suggest, if you're not watching my review and you pick this up, I would suggest always leaving it on three. I don't take it off three. It is rechargeable, so that makes it portable. It is very easy to empty. It is wonderful. It has auto stop. The auto stop actually works. When it's on the three, it stops sharpening my Prisma colors in the exact place I would want it to stop sharpening. So this one is really, really nice. And then the next thing that I suggest if you are just picking things up and you are a beginner, I would suggest picking up some of these little tiny mason jars. I don't know if these are available on Amazon. I'll try to go look and link them if I find them. But I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby for super, super cheap. If you go to Hobby Lobby or you have a Hobby Lobby, you you know probably that they alternate their 50% off sales. They don't have coupons anymore, but they alternate their 50% sales so like if you go one week and all of the mason jars and things like that are 50% off then that is the week that they are if you go and they are not then the following week they should go back 50% off I'm pretty sure that they alternate weeks but you could get a couple of these for super super cheap and I just use them when I'm working on a certain something to keep all of the colored pencils or whatever it is I'm using for that certain project in this little uh in this little jar and then I just keep it on my desk and it doesn't take up that much space. So I really love these for that. And one other thing you may wanna pick up if you are a beginner, especially even if you're not a beginner, but if you are a beginner and you are just learning how to blend your colors together and you want a little bit of help, I have blender pencils and these are my favorites. Now, supposedly Karen Dosh is getting ready to get rid of these, but I think they may still be available on Amazon. I'm really not sure, but they are going to be replacing them with something else. But you could also get a Prismacolor uh, blender pencil, and they're pretty good too. But I like to recommend my favorites, especially if you're Christmas shopping and you're a beginner and you're not sure what to pick up. But these are my favorites, but I don't know what is going to happen with these. So the next ones that I would recommend are the Prismacolor ones. And the next thing that is a necessity, if you are just picking up this hobby and you've just discovered it, we all know that we need a pencil case. <laughs> these are my favorite pencil cases. I've not yet opened this one up because this one is for when I get my dragon set. This one has 200 spaces to hold pencils. Let me go ahead and open it so I could show y'all. But this is how it came in the mail. At least y'all could see how it comes since I hadn't had it opened yet. But they come in that plastic, so they are they do ship very nicely. And I've never had a problem with this company. But they have zippers here for each one, for, or for each section of the case. And this is what the inside of the case looks like. And then you've got an extra couple of little holders over here. But I really, really love these. And then, of course, this one is the super big one because it has 200 spaces. And this next one that I want to show you, this is also from the same company. And I've been using their pencil cases for years. And I absolutely love them. They're my favorite. And I saw this pattern. And I was blown away by this pattern. It's got all my favorite colors in it. Of course, it's got flowers. And it is just so pretty. I love cactuses. And I actually did a video showing you how you can use a case like this for putting together your color combinations. Because this one actually has a space for three pencils in each one of the slots. And then it has these that just sort of fold over. So it makes it a little bit more convenient. And then it only has the one zipper. But I like this one for travel because this one has a lot of extra padding. Like 
you could totally feel all the extra padding. The other one, of course, is still my favorite, but if I was traveling and I wanted to take my colored pencils with me, this one has the extra slot here. Like I could even go to a coffee shop and I could take this with me and I could put my iPad in here. I could put my phone in here. This one just really serves a whole other purpose aside from the other ones that are my favorite. It even has this little handle here. So it would just be so easy. I mean, there's just so much cushion right here that it would just be so easy to take it with you if you were going out either to a coffee shop or even getting on a plane and wanna take all of your things with you and you wanna make sure your pencils are protected. But I really, really love this one too. Okay, so let's move into some of the things that you would want to purchase to put details and things like that and add a little bit of bling and whatever to your coloring pages. But I have a few things here that I want to share with you and I think that this, I think that we're coming to the end of the supplies and then at the very end I'm going to share with you what some of you have shared in my Facebook group so stick around for that. But these here are my stickles. I love my stickles. <laughs> this one is Sunburst. This is my favorite color. And then this here is another one of my favorite colors. And I actually did a video called Stickles Galore and showed you all about these and how to use them and showed you my collection and everything. So if I can link any more in the upper right hand corner, I'll link that for you. But this one is Mermaid Tail. This is one of my favorite ones as well. I actually just did a video where I colored a flower. It was a tutorial and I used stickles at the end and I used the mermaid tail and the sunburst. They are always my favorites. I love this teal color. I have quite a few favorites so if you want to see what my absolute favorites are you could watch my stickles video. But these are a lot of fun and then I just got this little bin here at Hobby Lobby that holds them all and I thought it was just really pretty and my whole office or art studio whatever you want to call it is this color and so it matched really really nicely. The next thing I have are some other gel pens that I really really love and these all have the bigger tip on them too. They've got a one millimeter tip on them and so they are really really nice. Let me go ahead and show you the tip but these are a little bit different. These are the Pentel Sparkle Pop and that is what the tip looks like. So you could see it's like nice and wide for a gel pen. I don't know if you could tell on camera. I think you can. But they're nice and wide for a gel pen and they are so fun to blend with. They're great for details. And the only thing I don't care for is that they don't give us more colors. <laughs> so these are the amount of colors I got in this set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. I think I have them all here. I'm not sure, but these are a little bit different because when you lay them down on the paper, they actually change color. So I use them only for certain things, but they are absolutely wonderful. But sometimes I wish that they didn't change color. <laughs> so those are the Pentel Sparkle Pop. I really love those, and those are great just to add some details. The next thing that I have are these Signo Univol gel pens. Now these have always been my favorite as far as white gel pens go, but I've had these for quite some time. And when I was filming my last video, which was a video on, um, I think it was my ultimate guide on how to use gel pens, I had an issue with these and they weren't going down the way that I wanted them to. So I needed to buy another one and I found this in Walmart and it had the silver and the gold in there too. And I know how much I love these. I also have some of their pens as well in a bunch of different colors, but I love the Uniball Signo brand. And so I got this one because it's got the silver and the gold in there. And I absolutely love to have silver and gold accents on my coloring pages. So I picked those up and I really love this brand. And then when I was filming that other video, Art and Fly had sent me these and I pulled them out and I started using these. And I was blown away by these. These are super, super nice gel pens. They go down so smoothly. I absolutely love them. I was really, really surprised. So these are one of my new favorites now. And it comes just like this in a pack of three. And then the next thing that I have are Posca pens. You want to be able to give the things on your coloring pages a little bit more depth, and you can do that with Posca pens. You could add highlights with Posca pens. And if you are really not sure how to use these or you want to learn how to use these, 
I have some tutorials on my channel using these, but they're not full Posca pen tutorials. I've done a full ultimate guide for fine liners, and then I did one for gel pens, and I'm thinking about doing one for Posca pens as well, because I have the whole Posca pen set of all of the colors, and I really love them, and I've been using them quite a lot in my coloring books recently and doing different little things with them. So if you wanna see that video, please do let me know. But these are the Posca pens, and these are all white, and they come with three different sizes. So that's what that one looks like. And I bought these all together, all three sizes at the same time. This is the really big, big one. And then this one, I believe is the smallest one. Now let me open, I think that might be the medium one. Yeah, that's the medium one. So that is the medium one, and then this is the most fine one, and then we had the big, huge one. But those are the Posca pens, and I have been using these a whole lot more than gel pens actually lately because they are quite a bit more opaque, and they go down very nicely in my coloring books. So I'm going to go through all the comments on my post in my Facebook group and I'm going to read everything that y'all have suggested that other colorists add to their Christmas list. So this is going to be a mix though. I know that this is just part one and this was the supplies video, but this is going to be a mix of coloring books and coloring supplies. So I'm going to start with Anna Gensini. Some of the things that she said she loves are her Teagall Sharpener her Ohuhu alcohol markers, color it gel pens. See, we already have duplicates. <laughs> her Derwent electric eraser, Tombow Mono Zero eraser, her soft pastels for backgrounds. So I'm not sure if she's using the Mungio, but I love those. And then she has some coloring books listed. So she has Romantic Country, Botanicum by Maria Trolle, Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanes, Oh my gosh, she has some of my favorites. <laughs> Enchanted Christmas by Teresa Goodridge. Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Basford. And then I am not sure how to pronounce it, but the, the new book that was just released by Rita Berman, Maine Reese Dirch Europa, Europa. I know that I butchered that and I am sorry. <laughs> but the new book by Rita Berman, and it's it, I agree, it's absolutely beautiful. A Million, A Million Llamas by Lulu Mayo and A Million Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo, Forest Girls by A. Pole, and Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Oh my goodness, she is sharing some of my absolute favorites. So some of those you may be seeing uh, me show you in part two of this video where I show you all of the coloring books that you should be adding to your Christmas list. And then I have Janet Dawson Lashin and her favorites are Creative Haven Happy Hanukkah Coloring Book, the Doll 133 Pencil Sharpener, her Spear Farben Colored Pencils, Fragile Worlds by Kirby Rosanes, World of Wonder by Johanna Basford, and Euro Europa, or the new, again, the new Rita Berman book. <laughs> And then we have Jacqueline Artiste, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure if that is her last name or she just has this name on her Facebook. But she says her favorites are Prisma Colors, Pro Markers, Secura Gel Pens, The Pan Pastels, and Studio Acrylic Paint, Manduro Metallic Watercolors, the Swedish brand, Kirby Rosane's books, Hannah Carlson books, Christine Karen books, and Selena Finich books. Marjorie Ann Winston says that she loves her chalk pastel pencils to use for backgrounds. Becky Lynn suggests a color wheel. Oh my gosh, that is one thing I left out of this video. That is a need for beginner colorists. And let me go ahead and show you that now, the one that I use. Y'all, I knew I would leave something out. <laughs> But yes, a color wheel. This is a necessity. This should have been in the necessity part of my video. But yes, everyone needs to have a color wheel. <laughs> and this color wheel is wonderful because it explains how the color wheel works. It shows you how to know which colors are complementary, where you would be able to create contrast on your coloring pages, split complementary, and then you know, monochromatic and all of the different color schemes. And it is just a really, really great color wheel. 
Okay, and this is the back and mine is a little bit messed up here because I've had this for so long. And then here it just explains color theory and then it gives you the definitions here of warm colors, cute, cool colors, hue, tint, tone, and shade. But this is my favorite uh, color or color wheel and I'll make sure this is linked in the description box below. I know plenty of you have already picked this up, but that is a wonderful color wheel and I cannot believe that I forgot that. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. And then Becky says her Spring Hill paper. Oh, and then she says she has, to, oh, she left several different comments. So her art bin super satchels or some other storage ideas. Of course, we all need storage. That is a necessity too. Oh my goodness, what a great suggestion. So Becky always also says one of those mini desk vacuum cleaners for pencil and eraser bits. I need one of those. Oh my, <laughs> and she says, and snack crumbs, LOL. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I must be like one of the only ones that does not stack while I'm coloring because I don't want it to get on my coloring page. <laughs> okay, let's see who we have next. Thank you, Becky, for all those fantastic ideas. I need to get me one of those little mini vacuum cleaners. I have seen those on Amazon. And then we have Louisa May Salt. And she says her favorites are World, World Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanes, World of Wonders, World of Flowers, and the Festive Christmas Book by Johanna Basford, 50 Winter Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova, Eerie Romantic Country, all three volumes, more using the Black Widow pencils and Brute Funer pencil all sets. I don't know if she's giving me maybe suggestions for tutorials there. I'm confused. <laughs> And yeah, she is. Okay, so she wants to see videos showing her and snow would also help too. Okay, so she's giving me some video ideas here. We have Kathy Jo Cannon. She says that she loves her gel pens. She doesn't say what brand. And then Black Widow Collection. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and she's giving me video ideas too. She says she wants new suggestions for pencils, both oil and wax, including metallics, and she wants some book suggestions. Oh, and Becky's back. <laughs> she says, an artist glove. Yes, I do not have one of those, but they have those on Amazon, and I have heard that they are absolutely wonderful. If you're getting into mixed media, she says, a craft mat, some brushes, and a paint palette. Wendy Gleason, she says, for beginner colorist, a color workshop. It's a step-by-step -step guide to creating artistic effects by Rachel Rein Reinert. And she says that it is a fantastic supplement to watching how-to videos. And then Becky is back. <laughs> oh my gosh, Becky Lynn, I love her so much. <laughs> She always contributes so much to the group, but she says Prisma color. She, she must have a brain like mine. Like you post something and then you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot. And then so you have to make another comment. But she says Prisma color, Derwent accessories kit with the blender, the burnisher, and the sharpener, Derwent battery eraser, and she recommends you get rechargeable batteries. And then we have Nina. Anger Mayer, I think I pronounced that right. And she says for beginners who struggle with backgrounds, she suggests getting acrylic paint. That's a great idea. Also, they do not bleed through the paper. And then Louise LeClaire, she just says, what a wonderful idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a lot of people left comments and said, this was such a wonderful idea. And then we have Dorothy or Dorothy Overbale. Gosh, I hope that I am pronouncing these names right. I really do not like pronouncing names and pronouncing them wrong. So if I'm pronouncing your names wrong, I apologize. She says, I love Faber-Castell gelatos for backgrounds. And she uses them on the small things in her pictures as well. Okay, and then Kathy Dantzler commented. I think she was just giving me suggestions uh, for my video. So she wanted me to include budget options which I did. <laughs> I always try to make sure my videos are very, very thorough and have a little bit of something for everyone. And then she suggested that I put a link section down below of the video where I include where she can purchase her open stock pencils because she never knows what stores package their pencils nicely so that they aren't destroyed in the mail. And this has been a big issue in the past for her. I like to be able to give a list of pencils that I need, brand, color, name, and number. So if someone wants to get me a gift, they can just get me a couple pencils. 
And then Marisol Payen says a color pocket. I'm not sure what that is. And then Elaine Hauser says her white Prismacolor pencils. Yes, the white Prismacolor pencils. That should have been in this video too under necessities because they are so important. But you do get a white Prismacolor in every single set of Prismacolors that you order. And then she says Prismacolor blending pencils. And I did show you those as well. Okay, so I made it through everybody's comments and then whoever else leaves comments, they will be at the end of the next video. I will try to make sure that I have some kind of timestamps on this video, even if just to separate it out in sections so that you can find what you're looking for. There will be a part two of this video that will show you just coloring books that I suggest to add to your Christmas lists. And I'm trying to get both of these videos, part one and part two, up for Black Friday, and it's going to be a lot of editing and a lot of work. So I am going to end this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and everything that you've seen in this video, I'll have linked down in the description box below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring, bye.